How's it going? Oh, sunny. As always. Um, got a special uh, video for y'all today. So it comes to my attention that I erroneously reviewed figures that were not the authentic figures. Uh, about a year ago, I had reviewed Storm and Thunderbird 2-pack. Um, now, after some brief um, discussion with uh, the homie High School Creations, he informed me that I didn't have the actual figures. So he sent me the actual figures and I took four weeks out of my life to study them to find the differences. So I'm here to show you how to spot a fake. So without further ado, let's take a look. This is the Storm and Thunderbird that I reviewed. And this is the Storm and Thunderbird that are the actual two pack so we'll take a side by side look at all of these figures and that way I can show you the differences uh, and how you can avoid being duped by um, street vendors um, aka crackheads uh, that say the incorrect figures so we'll put her there because she has high heels one of the key things that's the difference there um, and then we'll put Thunderbird right here so for starters we'll take a look at Thunderbird and the Thunderbird that I reviewed so the, the more glaring difference is one is Native American and one is Native Canadian so if you do get a Canadian Thunderbird it's a dead giveaway not the correct Thunderbird um, you also want to notice that he has hair, whereas he has a mask that covers up his whole body and it just leaves his mouth open. Um, big difference also, he has frilly stuff, as you can see there, frilly shoulders and frilly uh, boots. He doesn't. Real sleek uh, for aerodynamics purposes but that is the difference. Make sure you're not getting the Canadian. Not that there's anything wrong with Canadians. Wolverine's a Canadian, but he is not the Thunderbird that you're looking for. Then we'll take a look at the two storms here. Uh, for starters, this storm is not the real one. Um, she, the actual storm does not come with the cloth goods that I actually preferred. She comes with a more plastic cape you know it's a big M or if she's flying down at people they may think she's part of the Wu-Tang Clan she also has fingertips that have lightning coming from them whereas she has fingertips that say uh, no 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 don't don't touch me don't no don't touch me so that's a dead giveaway. You see the hands. Um, you also see that the actual Storm from the two pack is a little bit sexier dressed than full bodysuit Storm. Um, she may have been body shamed when she was younger. Obviously, this one doesn't care about body shaming. She's in the show all out. So she also has the go go boots, um, the little buckle in the middle right there. Nice little touch. Um, this one also. Um, I found out these are these may be underpants. So, um, if your figure has underpants, it's probably not the right one. Um, so that is some differences how to tell between the real authentic one and a fake. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comments. Uh, feel free to hit me on Instagram at Sony Plays with Toys. Take a picture of the figure that's in question. I will let you know if it's an authentic or a fake. Um, but yeah, I just don't want y'all to get duped like I did. So again, shout out to High School Creations for sending over the authentic ones so that I can take this little experiment and see the differences. And I do appreciate y'all for watching. And uh, please comment, like, and share the video. And subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see y'all next time.